Welcome back to Rowena's Curse. We have one hit point left. We are down here in the pit of demons. And. Oh, does not get seen. I got the zombies excited. Wonder how the holy uh, sword works on zombies. I guess I'm gonna find out. I do have a vial of holy water, but with one no, no water arrows left. It's not really gonna help me. On the other hand, zombies give up so quickly they might even not make it to investigate the body. Oh yeah. He opened his door again, huh? I see that. Uh, so we got a wandering demon down below, four demons, uh, oh, sorry, wandering zombie down below. There he is. Four zombies in these cages, presumably. I haven't seen the last two. And two demons. It's a lot to deal with here. Um, well, plan, that's my plan of attack. My plan of attack is don't die. So he's suspicious. So now I get to check how the holy sword works on him. Ah! Whoops. Well, he hit me. Uh, let's try that again. The demons aren't seeing me. Only the zombies are. Come here, zombie zombie. Dead, dead. Oh, he is now. I need to stay out of the reach because I can't afford to get hit. That's right, it's easy enough to lose him. Oh, shite. When they explode, they can damage me. Jam out of the way a bit more. Uh, <laughs> just the exploding bits hitting me, I imagine, can uh, can kill me. There. That's a bit risky. Let's just save after I kill each one. For a zombie, you're uh... all right, one down. Oh, shit, the uh, demon saw me. All right. Time to make my escape. Be careful about standing in those patches of light, Garrett. 
Those demons are more dangerous. You can deal with them, but probably easier when you don't have zombies around as well. So now I'm going to have to just wait for them to calm down. Shame. Well, unless I can take them one at a time up here. That's a possibility. It's not actually coming this close. Can you hear me? Apparently not. Well, that works too. Alright. Demons have returned to their posts. Stay out of the light, Garrett, and you'll be fine. Just leave this, leave this zombie man a bit further away. Come on, come on. Oh, the demons won't see you here. Alright, let's wait for him to fall down. Put them on the ground, they can hopefully chop him to pieces with relative safety. Good. Alright, two zombies down. Let's make a hard save because uh, this fight is more difficult than it would be if I had a lot more health. And a lot of water arrows, holy water arrows. Oh, balls. God, there's three of them down there. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can attract the attention of one of these. No, yes. Come on, demons. Come on, investigate. No, you don't want to? I keep walking to these bits either. Uh, alright, can I hit a demon's head with an arrow and kill it? Probably not, right? I can hurt it. Hmm. Got everybody interested. Wasn't quite my plan. Wow, those demons are so much taller than the zombies, aren't they? Why is the zombie so interested? I, mean, I don't really mind who I tackle first, but... Uh... I can't fight them all at once, that's my problem. And there's demons... Have the ability to chase me. Oh. 
and zombies. Forget already. Excited again, but that's okay. I can I can handle that. This isn't very the most exciting thiefiness to play to, to watch, I guess. But I don't really have many other choices. I can't effectively sneak down here with everybody watching and no darkness. I certainly no water arrows to put out these torches. Let alone the holy water. Okay. Right. You're annoying me. Let me move you into the corner over here. Along with your zombie body parts here. So I don't trip over anything. Okay. Good. Uh, fewer zombies to deal with. Whoops. Stay on the light. Stay on the light. How do I deal with these two without having to fight them both at once? I still have my noisemaker? No. What happened to it? Oh, it's just outside. I should be able to get it. Honestly, though, if they come down this passage at all, let's just jump over here. Guys, aren't you hearing me? No, they're not. Alright, well, I've managed to get them separated. That's good. Possibly not good enough. That's good. One more down. Oh. I'll get this done eventually. This is uh, a little bit brute force. I mean, literally brute force, but also brute force in the other sense. Now, let's shoot this guy with an arrow for a third time, right? I'll find out if it actually damages him. But if he comes over here, then I can. Okay, I don't see any blood, right? But then I can at least fight him over here. Without having to worry about anything else. We can just, like, slash him down. And there's zombies down there. If they can even get out, I'm not gonna be... I don't think they can. I'm not gonna get out in time. Alright. Oh, wow. One stab. Good. Good, good, good. Right, that deserves another hard save, I think. That's, uh... Some zombies down there to worry about, but probably not a problem. Let's collect these bones. They're just loot, as far as I can tell. Shouldn't we have to deal with those zombies in order to open that door. And I expect Lady Rowan is behind that door, right? There was the whole discussion in Duncan's diary. About another pit. Let me just let me just check what he had to say about that. 
because uh, I saw another pit with the altar. Blah blah blah. Uh, I know. It wasn't Duncan's diary, it was Alastair's book, which I couldn't pick up. So I'm misremembering there. Oh, well, there's this pit here with a ladder at one end and a pile of zombies in it. What does it have that I need? I don't know. Can I open this gate? I can. Hmm. Why is this here? There's another door. There's a couple of other doors. That's why. Possibly these are past victims. You know what? I'm going to go down and just try and fight them all. Ooh. Look at this. Hey, was there a sneaky way I could have come all this time anyway? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, let's go get deal with this fella. Hello, mate. Don't look now. Alright, zombie throat is gone. Where does this go? Rather than go through the big ominous gates just yet, there may be more to discover. Aha! Loot? Oh, is this also lead to the bottomless pit? No. Where is this? There's a passage up here. Doorway's there. I bet I could have snuck past all these guys, right? If I just found the right passageway. Oh. Uh, don't let Lady Isabella die. Take Lady's Villa out of the mansion through the front gate. Right, got another demon there. See, I can't get down here because I will die. So let's reload. So I was exploring this passageway. So firstly, uh, let's keep exploring, but let's not go down that same path, because that is not a viable path for me. Not on one hit point, not without repairs or anything. <laughs> Take your loot, that gives us a 6949, so close to our goal. Oh, this is the... This is the same room, okay. Right, so that's where Lady Rowena is. <gasps> loot! Yay! We've hit the goal. 7,099. And the seal of the sleeper. Oh, so we can perhaps put it to sleep again. That would be interesting indeed. Uh, healing potion. I'll take a healing potion for sure. Absolutely. I'm pretty happy about finding it. <sighs> okay, so before we move forward... This mess, you guys, leave everywhere. Shouldn't leave your own body parts lying everywhere, it's very messy. Alright, there's this other doorways in here too. Hello. With another zombie friend. Yeah, come on, we're here. Don't make me wait. Dumb they are. You notice he looked at me just before you got up there. Right. There's these passages. Which the zombies are wandering around. Is there more loot? So I guess this is just lights. That's what those are. 
Hammer's Lights. Oh, ho, oh, the Horn of Quintus. Can we pick this? No. Do we have a key that will open it? I mean, Rowena's key was the one I was thinking was likely, but uh, you know, might as well try them all. I don't have many keys anymore. Right, so. There's the Horn of Quintus and some gold skulls that we could collect if we can find the key. Probably good to remember that. Now we have five hit points. Hooray! We can actually survive the tiniest thing. Um, I'm not sure which way I should go. Let's... Oh, well, can't open those doors at all. Alright, so now I do know which way I should go. That's the way I got in. There's nothing here, is there? Oh, so he seems alert for some reason. Why is he alert? Die at all. Oh, there's a ladder. Maybe I should have taken the ladder. Why are you humming to yourself mysteriously? bad idea. I just let all those uh, demons out. That was a very bad idea. Alright. Uh, what is that that she's got there? I don't know. It's another passage over here, is there? Looks like it. Oh, she's seen me. Oops. Where does this go? I don't know, let's explore! Oh, we have an objective, don't let uh, Lady Isabella die, but you know. Oh, this is the room with the seal of the sleeper, is it? I think it is. What have we got here? A flash bomb? It's a strange place to leave a flash bomb. But, okay, I'll take it. And here we are above this room. All right, back we go. We have a tiny bit more equipment at least. Um, also, I'm not sure if she's just going to kill, you know, this timed objective here. not hit that switch. What is this? There's a portal down there. Interesting. Well, I can't use Lady Isabella's body. I can't seem to pick up anything off this place. What can I do? I can drop down here. Oh, hello, these must be the two maids. Yeah, I was gonna say. Where does this go? Oh, 
I see. This is where the demons are. So I can take the demons out one by one. behind me too but I don't know what it does. Probably opens the doors. Ow! Yeah, not so good. Let's take him down. Let his friend calm down. First, his friend calms down and I can take out his friend. Then I think there's one more. No, maybe, maybe a few more. But I'm sure what would happen is in the fight against uh, Lady Rowena there that those gates would open and all the demons would come out, and that would definitely be the end of me. So I don't know any way to do to actually deal here other than taking out these demons first. I think. And it seems silly to. Uh, Take the risk. Calm down, calm down, matey. Quiet. Hmm? He's laughing to himself there. <laughs> Must have really liked his own jokes. Come on. Quiet. No? no? I'll go move the other body. Oh, there he goes, I think. Let's move this body out of sight. Not that it matters anymore, but particularly. They'll stop it alerting anybody else if they happen to. Not around there. No, he hasn't quieted down. I just went around the corner. Most people. Oh, ready to die? Nope. Why am I saying the same things? So she doesn't know I'm here, right? She doesn't really know where I am. She can't get in. I hope. That was really my only safeguard. Oh, she's humming to herself again. Yeah, she's trying to get in here, but can't. Okay. I'll let you know when I am. Is this the last of the demons then? I bleedest. Pulley. I want you to calm down. No. What if I let you in, huh? Let's see how about bleeders. Let's see how about bleeders. Block me not. Death awaits thee. How about this death? Awaits thee. <laughs> All right. Uh, which way should I go now? Phase two of the fight. They're fake ones. Where's the real one? That's the real one. No, that's transparent. One of them is not transparent. Or maybe they all are all ghosts. I don't know.
Again, are you? Let's see how thou bleedest. Let's see how thou bleedest. Foul demon. Lady Rowena. Something, something's wrong here. Surely this is not. Oh, she's. Look at her. She's getting more and more bloody. Her face is all bloody. Objective complete. Rowena has transformed into a demon. Find the holy sword and kill her. So that was the last. Wait. Who's that? Is that Lady Isabella there? You're not trying to kill me. Someone. There's an intruder here. Uh, I was supposed to be taking you out safely out of here. Are you seeing the body parts? Okay. She's not scared about by me. Uh, okay. So Rowena gradually went from a demon to a zombie and then exploded. Don't let Lady Isabel die. Okay, take her out through the front gate if she's still alive. Come on, I'm here to rescue you. Alright. Do this the hard way or the easy way? Let's do it the easy way. Before I take you out, I'm gonna come back down here. There's a couple more zombies that uh, need dispelling. Saving you? What's that? Oh, it's just zombie part. But uh, at least now you won't risk troubling anyone else. That's all the demons and all the zombies dealt with. And Lady Rowena herself as well. I'm just annoyed this isn't stealable loot, but okay. Alright, uh, I think I've got all the loot from down here. Certainly I have all the loot I needed to collect. 7,099. That'll do. It's not as much as the goal I had on Expert, but it will have to suffice. So now we'll take Lady Isabella, still alive, we'll take her out through the front gate, away from this cursed mansion. Although, the curse should be gone now. Now, I wonder... I did find the seal of the sleeper. I can pick up. I wonder if that was something I could potentially use, but... Uh, or could potentially have used to resolve that fight. Never mind. The holy sword will do for me. I'll take the seal with me. It'll be an interesting souvenir at any rate. So oh, now we have the long climb up from the pit, past all the demons we slew, back to, well back through the secret passage, back to Lady Rowena's room, then we'll still have Cedric's body to dispose of, am I crouching? No, I'm standing, but uh, Having trouble walking. Lady Isabella has a lot more weight on her than I would have figured from from the looks. Or Garrett's just weak. Garrett might just be weak. It's always a workable hypothesis. Alternatively, maybe Garrett's just so weighed down with the 7,000 worth of gold. That can't be lightweight. That just 
the slightest extra weight makes him uh, unable to walk quickly. All right, this place does not feel safe to me. So if I still have a last us key here, I will lock it again. I don't. It's taking it off me. All right, never mind. See, that's why I don't like having uh, missions that take the keys off me. I like to be able to lock doors again, especially when it feels thematically appropriate. Bye bye, Skull Man. But honestly, it's probably better if they just demolish this whole house, fill up all these passages with rubble. And never send anyone down the old well to die again. So that's kind of kicked this whole thing off. Lord Duncan's paid for his crimes. Uh, Cedric's paid for his crimes. Lady Rowan has paid for her crimes. It's only Lady Isabella left that uh, we uh, are rescuing. As far as I know, as far as I know, she didn't actually commit any crimes. So her rescue will simply be well deserved. <laughs> All right. Did I check if that? I did, right? I did check if this was lootable. It's not. Garrett, you and your greediness. It's gonna get you in trouble one day. Oh. Ho oh, ho, I like that. Look. Uh, the portrait of Lady Rowena has changed. Look at her face now. All covered with blood. One eye seems to be missing and it's on fire. That's brilliant. Alright. So, we need to go to the south end entrance, right? Wait. This is the back gate or the front gate? Here. Yeah. This is the back gate. With the... Oh, this is where the pit is. Right, okay. Lady Isabella needs to go out the front gate. And I escape at the same time. Let's go through the mansion. And I'm going to take Cedric, throw his body down the bottomless pit where he'd left Lenny. Again, it just seems like uh, poetic justice. So this is the front door. Unfortunately, I took Cedric's body all the way here to the front door instead of the back door. So you just wait here on the carpet. And Cedric here, or his corpse, come with me. Oh, why is Cedric so much lighter? Look at that, some running. Man, what a skinny fellow he is. That's alright, it means uh, it won't take me long to get him there. Now, if Lord Duncan wasn't a ghost, I'd drop his body down the pit as well. Or maybe Lord Duncan should go down the well, would be more appropriate. But, you know, you pushed Lenny down this pit. You can, uh, you can go down this pit yourself. I'll try and put you in the same spot. That's where Lenny was. Just down here. Goodbye, Cedric. Yeah, well, close enough. Slightly disappointed there wasn't a bonus objective for that, but never mind. I still wanted to do it anyway. Alright, uh... So we are leaving this cursed mansion, or possibly not cursed anymore, but still, I've taken everything I could find, found that wasn't nailed down, so I don't have any particular reason to want to stay anymore. Um, didn't kill Lieutenant Wilson, he is, uh, he's hanging out on... Well, unconscious, but uh, with Lady Lucretia, also unconscious. 
I didn't kill anybody who was unarmed. I didn't let Lady Isabella die. So all I have left to do is take her out through the front gate. And now I have the front gate key thanks to uh, Lenny. Or the, the late corpse of Lenny. Fresh there. And here we go. Farewell. Creepy mansion. May I never see you again. Alright, that was Rowena's Curse. Uh, that was a really good uh, story for the mission. Lots of stuff happened there. And a uh, very uh, sprawling mansion to explore. Really well crafted mission, in fact. Five hours, 20 minutes, 4 seconds. Oh, wow, I missed 2,000 loot, just about somewhere around. I've missed six secrets. I guess that's where most of that extra loot is. Wow. I can only remember finding one, but I guess I found two. Where's the rest hidden? I was I was looking around a lot. I wasn't exactly uh, speedrunning this. Oh, well, I guess a walkthrough will tell me. I might look it up for my own interest. But uh, there we are, that's uh, the first of the four missions by Lady Rowena that I have found, that I've downloaded. I will check if there are any more, but I think that's all that she released. And so next time I will continue with uh, the second of the four. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you here for the next mission.